How to find your Google business profile ID. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can find your business profile ID. So let's get into it. Now to get started, first off, you want to go on to google.com and a lot of people wonder why do you need your Google business profile ID? A lot of the times to contact customer support, to verify that it's you, the business owner, the person who has listed the business, uh, you do need to verify or confirm your Google business profile ID number. And this used to be different. So in the previous version of Google, if you haven't updated it, uh, it will be different for you guys. So I will be explaining both of those methods. So first off, you want to go on to google.com. Then from the top right over here, you will have a sign in button. You want to sign into the email address that you have used to sign up with your business. So whichever email address you use to create your business listing or your Google business, you want to log on to that email ID. Once you have logged on to that, you can click on the top right over here. And once you do, you will see this icon, which is your business profile manager. So you just want to click on your business profile manager. This will lead you to this page. Now, previously uh, in the unupdated version of Google business profile, you would click on your listing and it would have a separate web page or a separate settings page for your business. Now, if you still have that version, you will just click on the page and then you will click on settings. And over there you would find your, whenever you would just click on your business, the URL of your business would actually have the business ID number present, or you could go into your settings and find it over there. Now, this used to be the old way to find your Google business profile ID number. And it was pretty simple and straightforward. You could find it in your URL. But now, once you have your business email logged in, so the email that you've used to create your business listing, you can see I have two businesses. Let's say I want the business ID for this salon. So I would just click on my listing over here and this will open up my business listing. So once the business listing is opened up on Google, what you want to do is you want to click on these three dots on the top right over here. And once you click on these three dots, you want to click on your business profile settings. Once you click on your business profile settings, you want to click on advanced settings. And from here, you will see your business profile ID. And you may be asked for this if you contact support. So from here, you can copy your ID and wherever you are required, you can enter it. Now, make sure that you have this ID whenever you're looking to uh, report any issues or trying to get in contact with customer support because it is required for confirmation. Now, a lot of people uh, need to complete their business listings to get to this step at first. You need to verify your business ID and for that, you need to make sure you're inputting the correct address and usually you get a mail in your address to confirm your business ID. That is one thing you need to make sure that is completed beforehand. So this is how simple and easy it is to find your Google business profile ID. Now I have a few more tips and tricks for you guys to improve your Google business listings. First off is to make sure you are including reviews and you can ask for your customers to include reviews and make sure all of the information, the business information, so your business category, descriptions, opening date, contact information, and especially a website link if you have one, you can create all of those things very easily with a few of my videos that I have uploaded on this YouTube channel. So we have all those sections in detail. And one more thing that people often skip is the amenities that you have. So you can click on accept over here and you can click on, you know, uh, the basic kind of Wi-Fi. You have free Wi-Fi, you can add that. And then you can add your crowds as well. Crowd can be a little difficult to add, but I think that it's a good field to add. And you also want to add your services. This is something people often forget. So if I go on to Jane slash studio, and I take a look at this lash bar and I'm like, oh, what is this? Uh, maybe I want this specific service. Would they provide it? Well, it's very essential that you add all of these services that you have uh, listed right over here. So you can click on 
edit services on your Google listing and you can add the different services you are providing. It's better to provide detailed descriptions or, you know, detailed categorization of all of your services simply because it is a lot easier for your customers to navigate through those services and to be able to find you uh, and, you know, uh, decide whether or not it would be worthwhile because I might be like, oh, maybe they don't do hair styling in this salon because it's a lash salon while they actually might do it and you might lose a potential customer so that is something to keep in mind in your google listing as well plus uh, the overall google listing should be very accurate you want to make sure you've added your own photos uh, you can click photos by yourself from your phone it doesn't really matter they should just be very clear and nice photos you want to make sure to upload them now another very important thing is to enable bookings you can enable bookings on Google if you want to but if you want you can also use something like Calendly or any other third-party booking app to create bookings if you're a salon or a clinic and another great thing that you need to do is you want to optimize with ChatGPT so what do I mean with that now a lot of businesses are writing you know if you're a small business owner and you have a google listing your listing might get drowned out by other more popular businesses or larger corporations and you can use chat gpt to optimize your listing for search engines now a great extension to do this is you go on to google and you can just go on to the chrome web store you're just going to search for the chrome web store you're going to open it up and then you're going to search for AIPRM and it's called AIPRM for ChatGPT. And you will just add this to Google Chrome, add this extension. Once this extension has been added, it will log on to ChatGPT. You will continue all its permissions. And once it has been opened up in ChatGPT, you can actually have a local SEO master plan generator. So all you have to do is you will add your business name and your business location. And this is amazing for Google business because you're trying to target your local audience. You want the local people to be able to visit you as frequently as possible. So what I like to do is I'm just going to add my listing over here, paste it. And then I will just add my location like this and I will just enter it. And then ChatGPT will generate me a local SEO optimized strategy for my business. You can claim and verify your Google business profile, relevant sites, optimize your website. Uh, and then it will give me the uh, long tail search keywords that I should be adding in my website descriptions, in my uh, business descriptions for my website, for my Google listing. And you want to include these amazing descriptions into your actual Google business listing. You don't have to only do this for your website. You can add them in your Google listing and this will help your listing in ranking higher. Plus you can see you have list 15 plus services using these keywords in your Google business profile. So now I I can just add these to my Google business listing to further optimize my business listing of my business. So that is how simple and easy it is to find your Google business uh, profile ID and how to optimize your business listing. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.